Hey guys, Micah here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we're discussing clone rifles. If you want a Tactic California t-shirt, head on over to eqfreedom.com, linked below. And if you want to come train with us, we'd love to have you. Handgun classes, carbine classes, all the good stuff. Check it out at tacticalifornia.net, linked below. So clone rifles. This is something I recently got into. This is something that's, uh, I'll be honest, new-ish to me. I've always known that clone rifles existed. I always had friends that were into them. But uh, only recently did I get bit by the clone bug, so to speak. First off, if you don't know what a clone rifle is. Well, a clone rifle is a civilian's best attempt, usually, uh, at cloning a service rifle, typically from the U.S. forces. However, you can clone rifles from anyone you want. There's no rules about it. Uh, but typically what you'll see is special forces. That's really where you see a lot of people cloning stuff. Now, that's not the only types of rifles that get cloned. Again, just any U.S. service men's rifle uh, that's what a clone rifle is. You're trying to replicate that rifle as best you can. Now, finding data on this stuff is pretty hard. And we're going to begin a series right here and now of clone rifles. Essentially, what is clone correct? What is not clone correct for particular builds? We're also going to discuss different classes of clones. So different classes of clones. What do I mean by that? Well, there would be class one, class two, class three, and class four clones. What I mean by these classes is how accurate and what kind of uh, variables you can do to the gun. So a class one rifle would look something like this. This is a Sotmod Block 1 clone rifle. It is as close to clone correct as a civilian can do it. Class one typically involves most Sotmod approved or program approved components, meaning that these parts were actually listed for the development of the SOTMOD Block 1 program or Block 2 program, what have you. So this being a Class 1 clone of a SOTMOD Block 1, it has a Colt SOCOM 14.5 barrel, a Knight's Armament RAS, we've got a PEC-2 on there, a Surefire M951, uh, which was uh, very clone correct, Knight's Armament Vertical Foregrip, we've got the Property of U.S. Government Marked, M4A1 lower receiver, again, true to spec as we can get it. A mil spec trigger and Colt's ambidextrous safety. Again, you see those on some, maybe on not all, but definitely on some. CQD sling mounts, again, very popular for that. Colt four position buffer tube. This is a B5 SOP mod stock Gen 1, so it doesn't have the QDs. Again, clone correct. We've got the MaTeC rear sight on here and a Trigicon ACOG. Again, the, the correct reticle, all that stuff. So. That is an example. I'm not saying that this has, this is how you build a class one, but I'm showing you an example of what I would deem as a class one. It's got the UID on the front there. It's got everything. This is as close to correct as a civilian can make it. What does a class two clone look like? This is what a class two clone, in my opinion, would look like. So this again is as close to clone correct as possible with some creative license taken, not uh, away from what has been seen in the wild. So this would be also known, a class two, I would also call it in the wild clone. Meaning you've seen service members utilizing these parts or components in photographs. It's been confirmed, it's definitely been overseas, uh, it's good to go. So this would be a SOTMOD Block 2 uh, with the FSP on here. So we've got the, again, correct barrel, correct muzzle device, this is a four prong, correct vertical grip, correct sling mounts, correct trigger, correct receivers, bulk carrier group, uh, stock, everything. This is all clone correct uh, in terms of meeting the needs, including the optic, of the Block 2 program. However, you'll notice that the Surefire M952V is the light of choice on this, and I'm using a Surefire dual switch. These components, while seen in the wild, it's confirmed these have been used by special operations overseas. These were not issued in the Block 2 program. These are not truly Block 2 components, okay? But they've been seen in the wild. The PEC, you, it was definitely an issued component. That's good to go. But the dual switch and the Surefire light, while seen overseas on rifles for special forces, were not 
part of the original Satma Block 2 program. A class two clone is essentially everything's perfect, but I've put some things on there that might not be part of the SOP mod program or whatever program I'm trying to clone, but I've seen it in the wild, it's good to go. What's a class three clone? This would be a class three clone. This is very, 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 very similar, utilizing a lot of very similar parts um, from the, the program that you're trying to replicate. However, it's not true. This is not a true Mark 18. Uh, and to be quite honest, uh, the military doesn't even call us a Mark 18. This would be known as a CQBR Block 2. Now, most of the components that you see here on this pistol have been seen in the wild by special forces groups. The wrist 2 rail, uh, the Mark 18 rail, definitely. The Daniel Defense low, uh, low profile gas block, definitely. Uh, we've got the uh, HK flip up sights. I know a lot of people think these aren't clone correct. They are, they actually have cage codes. Uh, and I've seen both Mark 18s and Block 2s um, with HK style FDE sights. So rest assured those are good to go. Again, mini scouts, I've seen them on rifles. That's definitely not an issued component. EOTech EXPS 3-0, that's the civilian version of the SU-231 Alpha, um, which is the correct uh, optic for this build. So just understand this is the same exact optic. It just doesn't have the correct markings, which doesn't make it correct. Also, this is a Daniel Defense complete upper receiver, which means the barrel, the bolt carrier group, the upper receiver and the charging handle are not clone correct. The true CQBR Block 2 has those components made by Colt. So it's a Colt barrel with a Colt upper receiver, a Colt bolt carrier group, and a Colt charging handle. And then it's on a pistol lower. I, don't, I can't get SBR lowers in California, so obviously this lower doesn't look anything like the mil spec ones. And the brace is wrong. The BCM grip is wrong. The Geisley trigger, well, some Geisley triggers are definitely seen in the wild, particularly the SSAs, SSAEs, and the SSFs. Uh, this is a, a super dynamic three gun, so it's, it's definitely not the trigger you would see in those. But other than that, it's pretty darn close. That's what I would call a class three clone and a class four clone, something like this. This is an ode. That's what I would call it. An ode to a rifle that exists in military use, but it is by no means a clone correct gun. Uh, it's not the correct receivers. It's not the correct rail. It's not the correct front sight. It's not even the correct barrel, but it is built aesthetically to look pretty darn close to a cloned rifle. So this would be a Block 1 style, a Satma Block 1 style rifle, uh, particularly a Navy style. The Navy does use the B5 stock. They also use this stock. So that would be clone correct. This is a Colt waffle stock. They use the EOTex, the 522 or 512. Again, this is a 512, so it's not even night vision compatible. It doesn't have the correct markings. This is a newer EOTech, uh, definitely not clone correct. BCM charging handle, not the correct arms rear sight. You get the picture. This is not in any way a clone correct rifle, but it is, in my opinion, someone's attempt, a class four clone. So that's pretty much the clone rifle classes as I have designated them. Class one is as close to clone correct as you can possibly get as a civilian. Class two clones are completely clone correct for the program and also have taken a little bit of creative license by utilizing what has been authenticated as being used in the wild. So as long as someone has used it overseas, it's good to go, it's still a true clone. Class three clone is a clone that looks very similar to the original clone. You might be utilizing some wrong parts here and there, but for the most part, you got the spirit of the clone correct. So that means you got the right rail typically, or you have the right barrel profile. It might not be the right manufacturer, things like that. It looks like a clone that's done well close up, but upon further inspection, it fails to meet the standards to make it to class two or class one. And class four is, hey, I'm just having fun. I wanna make my gun look like their gun, but I really don't care that much uh, about making everything clone correct. So I'm utilizing a Daniel barrel instead of a Colt barrel. Uh, Surefire 6PX, although that's been seen in the wild on some guns, definitely not on this gun. Surefire rail, that was never seen in the wild, things like that. So things that really weren't seen in the wild, uh, it's not very uh, true to the specs, but it looks like the rifle you were trying to clone. So those are the classes of clones. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to this channel for more gear reviews, training, and gun news. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram linked below and please come train with us. We'd love to have you train with us. Tacticalifornia.net, again, linked below. If you feel like you wanna support the channel, head on over to patreon.com, again, linked below, where if you subscribe to just giving a dollar or more, you're automatically entered into giveaways, you get access to exclusive content and more over there. So head on over to patreon.com. Be 
on the lookout for more clone videos in this series, Clone Rifles. I'm Micah with Tactic California. Thanks for watching.